You look so regal laying there on your pillow, like somebody just carried you in on a sedan and placed you there. These words mean nothing to you, do they? Are you ready for some good news? First up, researchers have created a new biomaterial that could help speed up the healing process. This new material is the creation of a team at Northwestern Medicine. It's a thin, pliable sheet of proteins and polymers that can be folded like tissue paper. These bioactive tissue papers, as they're called, can be made from the cells of particular organs, which makes them very useful for repairing and regenerating damaged organs. The papers provide a scaffold that mimics the natural structure of the matching organ. This promotes cell growth, accelerating the healing of wounds. The tissue papers were also used to grow hormone-producing cells from ovaries, which the researchers believe could be used to restore healthy hormone production to women following chemotherapy or radiation treatment. So far, the tissue papers have only been tested in the lab. Animal trials are still to be conducted, but the papers have shown an ability to support the growth of adult stem cells, which researchers say is an encouraging sign. The paper on these bioactive tissue papers is published in the journal Advanced Functional Materials. Next up, a new drug could provide an effective treatment for obesity-related liver disease. That should be good news for you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, what's this, huh? What's all this? The drug, called URMC-099, specifically targets non-alcoholic fatty liver disease, a condition linked to a high-fat, high-sugar diet, which affects tens of millions of people in the United States alone. According to a study conducted at the University of Rochester Medical Center where the drug is being developed, URMC-099 was able to reduce inflammation and reverse damage to the liver in a mouse model of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. The research team behind URMC-099 is currently preparing to take it to clinical trials. The study is published in the journal JCI Insights. I'm sorry about that last bit. I didn't mean to fat shame you. I think you're beautiful just the way you are. Yes. I think you're beautiful just the way you are, with your fat little kitty belly and everything. Yes, you know it. You know it. And finally, a new dark energy survey is providing scientists with the most accurate measurement yet of the large-scale structure of the universe. This dark energy survey, which its creators and their fiendish cleverness have named the dark energy survey, is being conducted using the dark energy camera at the Sara Tololo Observatory, which figured into a story I shared with you in the last episode of this series. With the dark energy camera, astronomers are precisely measuring the positions and shapes of galaxies, then using that data to estimate how much dark matter and dark energy are present in the universe. The image of the present universe created by the Dark Energy Survey can then be compared to the snapshot of the early universe created by the Planck Mission Survey of the Cosmic Microwave Background, allowing scientists to form a more complete picture of the large-scale structure of the universe in the distant past and today, and understand how the universe has evolved over the last 14 billion years or so. When it's complete, the Dark Energy Survey will consist of observations made throughout a five-year period. It's the largest, most detailed project of its kind ever undertaken, and will hopefully enlarge our understanding of the history and the current state of our universe significantly. The results of the Dark Energy Survey so far were presented last week at the SLAC National Accelerator Laboratory in Menlo Park, California. So there you have it, Your Majesty. What do you think of that, huh? What do you think? Organic tissue paper could help accelerate healing and restore regular hormone production. A new drug could reverse the effects of an obesity-related liver disease. And the Dark Energy Survey could give us the most complete picture yet of the large-scale structure of the universe. That's the good news. Hey folks, hope you found this one worth watching. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And also please consider helping me to make more videos like this one by supporting this channel through Patreon. 
you can go to patreon.com slash steveshives to become a patron. Thanks for watching. See you next time.